Hey guys, first time I've been able to review a Jedi. So these are made in the UK. I'll put some information in the photo album description about the Batmaker, but www.jedisports.com.uk. This is called the Zaramax. Now the Zaramax reminds me of um, an old school shape where you've got pretty much no wood down here and then it just bulges up into your mid hitting zone and it's actually got a lot of weight left down here on the toe too. So it's got a tiny little bit of duck bill there, but it's got a pretty much a traditional nose which just sort of been shaped straight down. You can even on some angles see the draw knife marks on it. The bat itself has a bit of concaving. So you've got four mil of concaving there to achieve a 37 mil edge and a 64 or 65 mil spine and still a 28 mil toe. So a lot of a lot of wood down here in the in the hitting area. I imagine this um, is very much similar to the type of shape the Lava Ultra is, where you've got all that wood down in the bottom. There is a bit of a story for this. Um, this is the limited edition grade, top of the line, purchased through Cricket Boutique. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 grains. A little bit of a pin knot here, but that's not in the hitting area. You've got a little bit of marbling down here, heartwood down the inside edge. The camber is about a 3mm. It fits nicely through the gauge so she's all legal. There's no width uh, reduction, in fact it's 108.4 so it's slightly over but it fits through the gauge so who cares. Now the owner actually uh, requested I think 210 to 211. Basically the bat came with a second grip on it. So 293 and when I take the grip off she's 2.8. The, uh, the owner and Cricket Boutique are working something out with the bat maker. As far as balance goes, I like to sort of examine the bat in their one grip state, not with two grips on it. So, two, eight, obviously it's going to pick up light. And in my hands, yeah, it feels, it feels two, eight, maybe two, eight and a half. Yeah, that swell down low is not effectively counterbalanced by... The handle so adding that extra grip did f make it feel much lighter uh, and still put it way under the 210 mark now you can see here they've the owner has bounced a ball on it the seam marks are pretty deep so this has got a really soft press on it I can tell that immediately that really deep tone going ballistic and then as you get to that point where the willow starts to run out there's a, no action whatsoever this is your hitting area if you're a front foot player if you're using this area then you've got problems I, I guess in a way I'd be disappointed if I wanted 210 and it came with an extra grip because these, these grips are nearly 2 ounces on their own so, yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, the finish on it is not uh, perfect. It's not a laver or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to run it over the polisher when I finish knocking it in. So, I do like the whole Star Wars theme. There's got a bit of texturing there. You can see Jedi in the, in the labels. And you've got that sort of shape um, reminiscent of the Star Wars type logos. Jedi Sports. Zaramax shape when I was uh, watching the videos on it online so I'm really happy to get one of these into review. Uh, going to do the ball test on it but I'm really worried actually that I might put a crack in it with the Dukes. It's the bat maker's prerogative how they choose to press the bat. This one's pressed to perform. Just trying to find the right ball. So full piece and I expect this will go really well. And just look at it fly. nick off up here might not go very far but yeah very nice all right the dukes yeah so it's 
left some deep marks up the top, which I'm going to put this back under the camera here. So yeah, we've got some fairly deep marks. So this is definitely not a bat you would use without properly knocking it. If you buy a Jedi, you really need to give it a good solid knock to prevent I mean that there, potentially I could have cracked the edge on that. You can actually see the ball indentation there on that one. And so extremely soft press, needs a good knock and it's going to get a scuff sheet on it and it will make plenty of runs. I'm not actually sure whether the owner's going to keep it. So if you really like it and you like that sort of weight, I would comment when the reviews go up because I'm pretty sure he'll sell it on at his cost landed which I think was somewhere in the 280 pound mark that is the Jedi Zeramax